Oh, bad company too. <clears throat> as much as it gets on my nerves, as much as much as it pisses me off at sometimes, as much as it gets me gets me raging on all the all the, all the glitches and all the and all the bullshit abusing and all the inconsistencies and all of that. I mean, despite all that, what can I say? I mean, when you get into that, that one game where everything just flows and nobody is being an asshole and everything is just just running smoothly. Oof. It's it's worth it. What can I say? It's worth it. Well, at the time, because then you meet somebody with an LMG and you're like, oh, fuck this game. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, but no, but DICE, DICE had a recipe for making something really great. They fucked up, but We'll see. We'll see in uh, Battlefield 3 if they've uh, if they've learned a lesson. Because apparently the PC community—it's not just me. It's not just my uh, my friends who have complained. Apparently, the whole of, I mean, the majority of the PC users have complained about this game. And look, I got greedy. I got greedy. I wanted to get them both, and I got none. Pro tip of today. If you're gonna kill someone, focus on just him. Just, just focus at one target at a time. Don't just, don't, don't let you yourself um, split focus between two guys. Just focus on one dude. Take care of him. Move on to the next. Ah, I hate when that. Look, look. Same thing here. Same thing here. I saw that. I mean. Oh. <laughs> I mean, seriously, how pathetic can you get? Just, just... Oh, shit, I dropped my yo-yo. Uh, I wonder if it's called a yo-yo in English. You know, the, the little round uh, spherical... Not spherical, it's, it's, it's just round. Uh, with a string, and when you when you throw it down, or you, you just, let it, just let it fall gracefully down, and then it goes up by its own force. Or by its own momentum. I think it's called yo-yo. What, what the hell? What the hell can it be called? I have no idea. Uh, in a previous video, I said that I was going to... Well, I said in the previous video that dreams are bullshit. And although they're actually absolutely necessary for human beings to function as... To function properly. Be they, they made a excessive studies on it and it was pretty interesting e every time somebody was about to fall asleep they just woke him up like they never allowed him to to enter REM mode so every time he was just you know close to dozing off they just kinda you know poked him with a long stick like hey fucker you can't fall asleep sorry you gotta stay awake and after a couple of hours the subjects they were testing it on were well they weren't exactly functioning properly I mean they were they were you know they were slow their, their concentration was just they, they didn't have any concentration they were they were they were disorganized they were kind of like walking zombies they were kind of like they were just messed up they didn't know exactly they just didn't understand what was going on around them. It was a pretty interesting uh, study. I have no idea what the project is called or anything, but it's pretty interesting. Try to check it out if you want to. It's pretty insightful. Uh, what the fuck was I t I lost my train of... Right, my dream. Alright, so in a previous video I said that dreams, you know, they're bullshit. Um, you know, they, they can't change your life in any way if you get like a interesting or meaningful dream that you know it, it can't significant it can't can significantly change your life and in the same video I actually acknowledge that I'm full of shit of course they can of course they can it's just a meaning of interpretation and acceptance I guess uh, basically I had a dream that I, I, if, if it changed my life or not, that's up to you to decide. I, I feel like it definitely changed my life. Uh, when I was about, how old was I? 14 maybe? 
14. I was in um, Alpujarra de la Sierra in uh, in Nevada in uh, Spain. I was sleeping in the mountains and I had a dream. Uh, the dream was actually very simple. I was walking in a forest, very gloomy, dark, depressing forest. It wasn't a lovely sight at all. I was just walking there and and I got to this pond or lake. It had no exits, I had no entries, just a, like a pool with water. A lake, uh, a dam, uh, not a dam. It was just, it was just a it was lake it was lake it was lake and it, it was surrounded by all sides by trees just on the forest on the forest but these trees were dying these trees were they were gloomy they were they weren't like they didn't make any sounds they didn't move or anything but they didn't feel at peace they felt like they were they were sad they were they were mourning something it's a really interesting feeling, I, a really interesting vibe I got from those, from those trees. And as, then I stood on the bank of, um, of, the, of, the, of the lake, I stood at the bank, uh, just on the beach, just next to the, next to the water. And from the opposite side of the lake, on the other beach, on the other bank, ghosts started to emerge. Hollow, invisible, transparent rather, transparent, and very, just, oh, oof, just a very, <laughs> no, it, I, I, let's just put it like this, I didn't get a happy feeling from those ghosts, they weren't out to hurt me, but, well, I'll just continue with the dream, the ghosts appeared and they started to approach me. They were just getting closer and closer and closer. And the the closer they got, the more dead they looked. The more the more like skeletons they looked. Like they had flesh when they were really far away. I mean they looked like they, they I mean they kinda resemble like human beings. But the closer they got, the closer they looked just macabre and and, and dead and and, and and tragic. Just just Oh, just, just, just dead in every sense of the word. Just dead. And I realized that that symbolized every person I had ever lied to. The person, the the ghosts that were that came the closest to me were the people I I loved the most and who I lied to the most. Because I was a woo, huge liar back back in the day, yo. <laughs> now, but like. Uh, how many years ago? I mean, I guess five years ago, or a little more, I was lying all the time. And I'm talking all the time. Like, every time I said something, it was a lie. I was I was probably a middleman, or was it, what is it called in English? You know, a compulsive liar. That was basically what I was. And after that dream, when I saw those ghosts that came close to me, and I realized that those were the people I loved the most, and they were the ones I also lied to the most. And obviously the people that were, uh, or the ghosts rather, the, the ghosts that were a little farther back, those were the people that I didn't care so much about and the, who I had lied to as well. But, you know, I didn't really care, but still, they were included because I had lied to them too. And after that dream, I just decided, you know what, enough. I'm not gonna lie anymore to friends and loved ones. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hurt them anymore. I'm. I'm tired of that. Fuck that. I'm not. No, just no. I've I've had it. So after that day, I came up with my with my infamous one uh, lie rule. I ha I can lie once a month, and it's one of those rules. Uh, Rather, it's one of, well, right, yeah, it is one of those rules that, that, you know, you can, like, pass it on to the next month, or you can, like, collect it, like some kind of tax collector, if you've lied, so, like, if you, if I've lied twice one month, I can't lie the next, <laughs> you know, so it's, it's kind of like cheating, but that's why I said, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's adept, 
basically you if you lie too many times you can lie the next the next month or the next month after that luckily for me i don't i don't have to lie um is i mean this this just i mean such a simple idea such a simple notion and it's greatly improved my life because now rather than lying to people and bullshitting my way out of situations i'm just honest if somebody asks me you know, do you like me? I just said, no, I think you're an asshole. Fuck you, go die in a fire and burn there forever. And if I like someone, <laughs> although that takes a little more courage, you know, I say, you know, me like you, me like you. And it's, it's actually phenomenal. It's great. I mean, it's like, it's really like a, a weight has been lifted on my shoulder. I don't have to... I don't have to bullshit my way out of situations anymore. Ooh, 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 I am... Oh, die, you bastard. And he managed to knife Slipknot. Slipknot is actually pretty goddamn good, this game. He's like a beast. Did you... I mean, are you looking at him when he's, like, running around and... And he's, like... He's, he's, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. You can't stop him. He's a beast. He's a machine. He's just running all over the place and just... Just capping flags and owning everybody, though... Granted, he is using an LMG, so that's that's a minus. But still, still, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Oh god, I lost my train. All right, uh, lying and bullshitting my way out of situations. So now I don't have to feel guilty anymore anymore when I when I bullshit my way out of situations. Like because I I'm just honest. Like if somebody, it's everything from the big things to the, to the small things. The small things like, you know, when those uh, those dudes. On the streets, try to recruit you to, you know, doctors without borders, or you know, save the children, or you know, whatever, you no, know, whatever. Now I just tell them, you know, what? Fuck you. Just fuck off and die. And similarly, if it's a little, you know, bigger issue, I'm, I'm honest there too. Like the only person I still lie to, I mean, the the, the only person I still use that. <laughs> one month a rule. No, wait. No, one month. One month. One lying a month rule. That's. Uh, you see, I got it. I got it at last. One uh, one lying a month rule is my mom. You, you can understand that. You know how moms are. Like, if she asks me something and I'm like, eh, because I have like a FAMAS. A FAMAS. Uh, an FAMAS. A uh, Le Clarion. The Bugle. The three shot, one, one kill weapon. The. The Legionnaire, I, I've got it, I've got it as an airsoft, and it's just chilling behind my door. And, it, and I mean, if she saw it and she like started asking me, I, I, you know... She doesn't really approve of wasting money. And I mean, you get it, wasting money. You, you, yeah, you get it. And she doesn't approve of violence at all. You name... You, you say pacifism, she is pacifism. She is the incarnation of pacifism. She would be like, Gandhi would have to learn from her. It's really insane. I love her, I love her to death, but... That, she's, she's, she's amazing, but still, you know, some things are better said, left unsaid. Or at least that's what I think. Like some things, you know... Yeah. You know, mo you know how moms are. Like they start asking questions, and they start, you know. And, and, and I mean, moms are great. I mean, I love my mom to death. I mean, I'd murder the galaxy for her. I'd, 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 I'd murder the fuck it. The galaxy is not well enough. But goddamn, I remember when, when I was a little younger, and I was going on on long nights and. Um, on a, in an internet cafe with my friends, you know, as a celebration of something or, you know, whatever. I couldn't really say that I was going, Woohoo! The last kill is a knife. I couldn't really say that I'm, you know, that I 